Thanks for joining me. I am back with another bag tutorial. I had a lot of requests after we made this bag in the last video and if you're interested in this bag I'll have it linked in the description below this video, the tutorial to this one. But after I made this one I had a lot of requests how to make this one and also how to deal with a zipper when you have a placemat with a uh, wavy edge or anything other than straight edge. So. We're going to address both of those in this video. If you want to make this bag with this placemat or the wavy edge placemat, you're going to just put the zipper in the same way and then flip back over to that other video and you can follow the rest of the directions from there. I also have a fun surprise on this. I'm going to show you how to put a lining on the inside of this so that um, you can wipe it out or it's waterproof in case you want to put cosmetics in there or you just want to put something in there that you don't want to get necessarily on the fabric. So the first thing we need to do is cut off our wavy edges. So I recommend a rotary cutter and I think that's the easiest way and just a straight edge and I'm just lining this up on my cutting mat with my ruler and I'm just going to cut off that wavy edge. Turn it around. Line that this way. Turn it around. And line this up so it's straight. And cut it again. And you can do as much or as little as you want. Totally up to you. So I cut off the second edge. Now I need to do the same on the sides. I'm just going to fold this in half. Sure my edges are straight. Lining this up and again cut off that edge and again make sure we're lined up. And we're going to cut off this edge. Alright, so you should have something left that looks like this. So we have raw edges and that's the problem with the zipper. We're going to address that in a second, but first I want to show you how to add that coating that I talked to you about. I found this product, it's called, it's by Pellin, it's called Matte Vinyl Fuse. It's flexible iron-on vinyl protection. Found this at Joann's. I'll have it linked in the video description below. And it comes in a big roll. I cut off a roll approximately, or a piece approximately the size we're going to need. And I need to cut this down. So you want to measure your fabric and cut your vinyl to approximately the same size. So I'm going to use my rotary cutter and do this. Okay, so you need to figure out which side is going to be the inside of your bag, which side is going to be the outside. This is going to be the inside of my bag. So I'm going to take my vinyl and there is a clear coat and a paper backing. You're going to take that paper backing off. Don't throw it away. And you're going to lay that vinyl right on top of your fabric. Um, there's kind of a stickier, shinier side and a more matte side. You're going to put that stickier, shiny side down on your fabric. All right. And I have my iron preheated to a medium setting. I put mine on cotton. Make sure you got that lined up. You're going to put this on your ironing surface. You're going to cover it with that paper that you just took off. 
glue around it here for a second. Grab my iron, hopefully it'll reach over here. Move this a little bit closer. There we go. And you're just going to iron it. The directions say preheat dry iron to a medium heat setting, peel vinyl fuse from release paper and place sticky side down onto fabric. Place release paper that was just removed on top of the vinyl. Be careful not to iron directly on the vinyl fuse. Press and hold the iron release paper on top of the fabric for approximately eight seconds. Okay, so I guess you really should just put it and hold it. If the Cricut Easy Press would be awesome to use for this. And once you have one section done, go ahead and remove your backing and do the other section. Okay, so now you see we have a vinyl lining. This is going to be the inside. This is going to be able to be wiped off and cleaned up if you have a, a liquid or something that might possibly spill. So that's kind of a nice feature. Now we've cut our placemat down, so we need to measure how wide it is. And mine is now 12 inches wide, so that means I need at least a 12 inch zipper. I believe I have a 14 inch zipper here. Now what's different from this bag than the other bag is with this one, we were able to just st stick that um, fabric right up against the zipper because we already had a finished edge. We don't have a finished edge on this one, so we have to put the zipper in a little bit differently. So what we're going to do this time is we're going to put our zipper face up, zipper pull side up, down on our work surface, and then we're going to put our placemat, the side that's gonna be the outside, down on top of the zipper so that they line up like this. You see that the zipper is face down against the front, what's going to be the outside of the bag, and we're lined up like this. Before we lined it up like this. Now we're going to line it up like so. All right, and now you're going to center your zipper on the bag and go ahead and run a stitch right along this edge. So I'm going to do that and I'll be right back. Okay, so now it should look something like this. And if you flip that zipper up, it's gonna look something like that. So what we're going to do now is flip that zipper up and fold this down. And you might want to iron it, but if you do, and I recommend you do, I would take that paper again that you use and place it over here and then iron it down. Let me do that. Okay, so I sort of pressed mine down. And now I'm going to take it back over to the machine and I'm gonna sew a top stitch right along this edge where I'll catch the top of the zipper and that fold and that'll make everything nice and neat. Okay, so now you can see I just stitched right along that edge. Okay, so next we need to attach the other side of the zipper to the bag. So what you're going to do is lay your project down, fold it like this, and you're going to line this edge up with that opposite side of the zipper. Okay, so we're just folding it up and lining this side up with the opposite side of the zipper. So this is my sewn edge right here. One more time. I'm just going to fold it up and line it up with that open side of the zipper. All right. And then I want you to clip or pin it. And let me grab my clips. Clip or pin it, making sure your edges are lined up. And you 
might want to use more clips. Whatever works for you. And then reach in here and unzip it. Once you unzip it, you'll open that up so that you can now go and stitch that top edge to the zipper. But it's important that you clip it before you unzip it so that you've got your zipper lined up. All right, and then you can realign it to the top of the bag. I'm gonna put a few more clips in here just because things start moving around and you got that zipper open. to make sure everything lines up. So I'm going to go top stitch right here. Okay, so now it should look something like this. And you're going to do that same thing. You're going to pull your zipper up, iron it, and then run a top stitch right here just to secure everything down. Okay, so now we have both sides top stitch down. What we're going to do is zip our zipper back up about halfway not all the way. And then you're going to line your sides back up and clip. And use as many clips as you feel comfortable with. Make sure your zipper tails are facing towards the bottom of the bag. Fold it down. And then we're going to run a stitch right down this and over your zipper. When you get to the zipper, go back and forth a couple of times. All right, same thing on this side. Down, get to the zipper, go back and forth a couple of times. All right, okay, so you can see I have sewn down both sides. I went back and forth over the ends of the zipper on both sides. It's not real pretty right at the moment, but that's nothing to worry about. Now we can take it to our cutting mat and just trim off those edges. Make sure you don't cut through your seams. Cut right through that zipper that's stuck off or sticking out. So it's looking like this, and you could right now turn it, unzip it, turn it right side out, and be done with it. And this is a really cute makeup bag, just like this. Corners out. Oops. And you have a makeup bag just like this, which is super cute. But on this one that I made, I added some box corners. So it looks more like this, and it's got a flat bottom. So if you want to do that to this, you're going to go ahead and leave your bag. The other way out. Turn it back out. And you're going to take the bottom corners, my zipper's down here, you're going to take your bottom corners, you're going to open it up and make a point like this. Now I have some triangle templates and you can see how I use those in the video for this bag. But basically what I did was measure down two inches like this, make a mark. Two, ah. So I measured two inches, make a mark, two inches, make a mark on that side, and then connect the two, and that makes a triangle. Now I have some cardboard templates. And depending, the bigger you make your sides, the bigger your box corners are going to be. So I have some templates. I just use it like this. And then I need to draw a line right there. And then I'm going to sew right on that line. 
and then I'm going to go to the opposite corner, fold it in like the same way, make that same line and sew that same line. So I'm going to do that and I'll be right back. Okay, so you can see I sewed both corners and I used my template, drew a line and then sewed right on that line. I find the templates are easier. I just keep some different sizes. I have a small, medium, and large. And like I said, the bigger the that you make that measurement from here to here, two inches, two and a half inches, three inches, the bigger you make it, the bigger the box, the bottom's gonna be. So now we can take your scissors and cut about a quarter inch away. If you have a serger, you can just serge this right here and that'll make a real nice finish. If you don't have a serger and you want a nice finish on this, if you have the vinyl in here, it's not going to ravel. But if you want a nicer finish, take and run a zigzag stitch right along that edge. So I'm going to run this through the serger just to show you. And the serger will put this nice finished edge. If you have a serger and you haven't seen it, it'll also cut it at the same time. So let me show you that. So this side, the serger cut it and sewed it at the same time. I can fix my threads. All right, now comes the fun part. Trim your any strings you have, any threads. And flip it right side out. there you have it. It's a finished bag. I like the structure that that added iron on vinyl gives it and it's protected for makeup or toiletries that might um, otherwise soil the fabric. And again, if you want to make this bag using this placemat, you're just going to follow the same procedure for installing the zipper. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I will link the products I used in the video description below this video. And as always, if you guys make this, be sure and tag me if you post it on Facebook or Instagram. Um, I'll have my social media links are also in the video description below. I really appreciate it and I love, love, love seeing everybody posting. I've seen so many of these bags being posted on Facebook and people are tagging me and it just really makes me happy to see. So thanks again for joining me. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.